Hi, this is Danny Doyle, and welcome back to Call of the Armor 0% Growth, and as usual, we have two new units with us. The first of which is Frances, and you'll notice that I have her deployed, which might give you an indication of how I feel about her versus her other person who I don't have deployed. Uh, Frances is quite freaking good. Uh, these stats are, well, you'll notice that she has plus 10 on magic, and I guess I should talk about Judgment, because she joins with it. It is the S rank Light Tone, and it boosts magic by 10, and she has the rank for it. And at this point, it is fairly unlikely that even uh, one of your monks has the rank for it. Uh, this is part of what elevates Mac above other potential warpers, is that he can realistically get both A rank Staves and S rank Light. Um, Although you do kind of have to focus down in order to do so. And it's going to come later than Francis having S rank light uh, and B rank stats, because she can rescue with her increased magic range. Uh, now, without judgment, her stats are kind of mediocre. Um, 10 magic for a level 10 pre promote in a growth context is just not, not it. That's not it. Um, and her bulk is virtually non existent. 3 defense, 18 HP, 12 speed, most things double her, and most things, most physical things one-shot her. She does have an incredibly high resistance stat, but she's also not the type of unit you want to fight mages with. Uh, you know, Ansha can sort of use that as a niche to uh, attack mages, and Liam as well, because, like, he has high resistance with the armored bow. Be but both of them use physical weapons, whereas Francis is using a magical weapon off of a not great magical stat, even boosting, right? Like, 20, 20 magic is, is okay. Um, but then that you are using an 8 might tome uh, in order to make use of that 20 magic. Uh, the big reason you use Judgment is specifically so that she can... Um, is specifically so that she can have a higher rescue range, which is most of what I'm going to be using her for. Um, still, I think she's much, 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 much better than Pontagare. I think she's a very good unit. Um, Pontagare, I think, is actually kind of trash. Uh, one of the worst units in the game, in my opinion. So, these are his stats as a pre-promoted sniper. Uh, already an uphill battle to start out as a sniper when we've had action options of multiple archers who could go bow knight. Uh, Liam, in particular, can go bow knight without any training. And, obviously, Skrhandi starts out as a bow knight. Um, bows, I already think, are a fairly niche weapon type. Uh, we've got Shale, who's a bow user. Um, the big thing that Pontacare brings to the table is he joins with A-rank bows uh, and the Brave Bow, but the Brave Bow is B-rank. Uh, so Skrhandi can use that at base because she starts out with the rank for it. Um, so not a great showing for him. I kind of dunked on Skrhandi's stats as being, like, kind of just middling. Pontagare does have a very high speed and skill stat, uh, so he will often double, um, even with the Brave Bow, uh, weighing him down a little bit, right? He will still often double. 16 speed is nothing to scoff at, but 9 strength is very pathetic. And honestly, if you want to double, um, give the Brave Bow to someone with a lower speed set and higher strength stat, right? Because... I guess he could quad. He is getting minus four to his speed from the Brave Bow, though. Um, and then that's just 12, and that's not a very good number. Like, that's not a number I like a lot. That's not a number I like in terms of a base speed. Um, 12 AS is... I mean, it's okay, but he's not going to double everything. Or quad everything. He will double everything he uses the Brave Bow. If he has other bows, he will double, but he won't be hitting super hard. Um, for comparison, we got Goo a while ago. This is what his strength looks like at base. He has four strength on Pontecare. Uh, now, yes, Pontecare has double his speed. But, like, I just, I really think it's a tough sell being a sniper, even with the bow, like, the boosted bows that we get, like, the sleep bow and the guiding bow and other, like, cool, useful bows. Um, I guess the one thing is that Pontecare can realistically eventually get to Great Arc, but, like, Shale has had Great Arc for this entire freaking time, and also has 15 base strength. Uh, and again, like, I know Pontecare will double a lot of things, but I also don't care. Like, he's so... He doesn't hit hard. He doesn't hit hard at all. It's so sad. 
it's so sad for him. Um, I, I keep calling him Ponticare, it's Poincare. Um, but I don't care, is the point. A few other item-related things. Uh, first off, I forgot to do this last time, it was in his inventory all map. We're giving Goo back an extra warp range. Um, second, Goo is going to go ahead and sell the blue gem that we got last map to double our funds. And I gave a heal staff to Francis. Uh, I'm going to have... I don't think I'm going to buy another one because we get the silver card next map. So we'll buy them after that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what we've got going on here. All right. So first off, this is yet another Zane map. He's right here. It's pretty threatening. Uh, Silver Blade, Sword Slayer, like those are both... I mean, Silver Blade's a meme weapon, but it has 14 might. And then Sword Slayer is scary, especially when, like me, you've got a couple of Swordmasters as, like, some of your primary combat units. Uh, first thing is first. Francis is going to go here. And rescue Soma. Because while Soma is too fat to be traditionally rescued... We do still want to be pushing him ahead. Uh, so I'm going to have him Brave Axe this fighter. Uh, because the fighter can reach Francis. Um, honestly, I just don't want Francis to fight anyone. Um, this whole time. So we will have Vivek. Thunder! Um, he'll pull Luigi. And Thunder! Uh, this, this guy, so we don't have to deal with the killing edge anymore. And then, Strahandi is gonna go ahead and shoot this soldier with the thousand at the Yajans, Yajansi, Yajansni. Um, just shoot him with thousand arrows. She is the thousand arrows, and she will shoot with the, the power of a thousand arrows. A Lily and a Mac Attack are going to team up on this archer to get rid of him, and everyone else is just gonna sort of charge forward to be near Zane, um, to take him out next turn. Lightning for better accuracy, and my hope is to get Mac Attack to S rank light, uh, relatively soon. You also might notice that I've deployed Drowin for the first and last time, uh, other than his join map. Go ahead and do that. Now they have a might support. Uh, that's good. He has eight might now. This is basically the other, like, the only other um and no. No, I don't- I don't need that support. Uh, this is basically the only other time that there's a stealable that Drowin sort of gets credit for. There's a Master Seal on the Paladin over to the bottom right. Uh, it's the only stealable on this map, and there's no stealables in the previous map, other than the boots, which are dropped. Uh, but if you, like, don't think you have the ability to kill the boss, uh, Drowin can sort of steal them. Um, and I don't think there's any stealables on the next map either. Uh, and then you get a rogue, who is just better Drowin. Um, so if you wanted to use Drowin for, like, combat, I guess he has the clam knife over her, but thieves are not really combat units, they're utility units. Uh, so what we're gonna do... We don't actually need to do this, uh, but we will because it's funnier to get the boost. Kill Zane with the bread knife. Now I do want to, I don't want to have Killian kill the Paladin before Drowin can steal the Master Seal from her. Uh, I think it's a girl Paladin. Uh, so that's potentially an issue. Um... AS of 12 and has the rapier. 
So I think what we do is we want to have here and here, basically, units who can take one hit each. And that's actually a bit of a tall order. Uh, Soma actually potentially can. The problem is, does he kill- oh, Rapier, no, not. Um, so we can have Lily here with the Slim Lance, that's definitely one. Uh, 9, 12. So Mac does get doubled by the Paladin. Which, I don't, we don't like to see that. Uh, Sekande does not actually, so we can put her here with the Lance Reaver. And now they're better. And now they're better. Uh, ooh, wait. Right. Uh, okay. 18. So that'd be 10. 17, that'd be 9. Lily's actually good to survive both hits. So, I think they'll both probably go for Lily. Yeah. Okay, this seems good. Um, so next, we do definitely want to heal Soma up. Uh, and also kill this guy, because, like, he's scary. Uh, can Mac Attack do that? Well, Vivek probably can. Thunder! And then Soma's going to take care of that soldier. This one up here. Get the Sleep Staff. Uh, actually, Soma's actually blocking the soldier pretty well. Which is good, because I don't super want to march him forward. Horse Slayer Soldier. Um... I don't want to start luring these guys down. I think if Shale goes up here to where Soma is, so we can have Venus heal Soma, Francis can rescue boost Soma forward, if I can find a safe space for her to do that. Because Merc right there. So if we go here, rescue boost Soma forward. And then he can potentially kill the Merc. While. Ooh. Wait. Oh, that's no good. Uh, 19 attack, 8 AS. She actually lives. She actually lives. Believe it or not, she actually somehow fucking lives that. Ooh, Soma. This is fine though. This is fine, though. Can't get doubled if you kill in retaliation. Okay. Uh, Drowan's gonna go here to assume the position. Uh, we'll move Kuja up here. Mac Attack will grab a warp from the supply. Uh, he doesn't need this shine. And take the warp. Shale can move up here. Okay, I think this is good. Oh, wait, Horse Slayer, fuck. Um, because Shale was supposed to block Venus, but Venus somehow actually survived a single round of combat. Um, amazing, amazing. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. Even when I misplay, I'm successful. Uh, for clarification, uh, I talked about when evaluating Venus, how she, like, feels like a trap. Uh, Francis is the reason, right? Even though Francis isn't, like, inherently better, the, um, the whole, like, the fact that you just get a, a B-rank staffer for free with S-rank tome, so functionally a higher magic stat, um, and promoted so she has the better movement, 
Uh, it just, it feels like it invalidates the payoff to training Venus. Okay, so Kuja. First off, we are definitely going to steal... Okay, so these are good. We are definitely going to steal that Master Seal. Yoink. Thank you. And then Killian can delete something. Uh, 8, 16, 24? Yeah, he does eat a counter, but... Honestly, this seems fine by me. Uh, how does Lily do here? Levis Lancia? Not quite where I want her to be. Um, okay, Kuja. If you could... Kill this guy, that would be baller. The fact that Francis dodged as well is also super nice. Very nice for her uh, to be at full HP. Not that I really want her seeing combat regardless. Okay, so that's 13 times 2 is 26. And the Mac attack can kill, yes. Okay. Uh, Uyama, can you... If you could crit, that would be baller. I would very much love it. Okay, no crits, that's fine. Uh, we can still... We still knocked him down low enough that, like... We can kill. Um... Like, Lily can kill here with the Slim Lance. And then we could Great Arc. Uh, bread knife is gonna be 21. To okay, yeah, Killian killing this guy just seems like the correct call. And we'll just have to uh, ensure that Killian doesn't get hit on enemy phase. I mean, he can actually take and hit on enemy phase. Uh, so I guess I should talk about the actual goal of this map because it's called Conquer. So if you haven't played it, you might not know, like, what does that mean. Uh, so we do have to kill the boss in the top right quadrant, but there are multiple ways to approach this. Um, if we go straight for her, then when we get close to her, um, there's a, uh, if we go straight for her, then when we get close to her, there's a, like, um, a bunch of siege tome dinguses will show up. We can also go for either of these castles, and conquering one of, like, seizing one of these castles causes her to leave the throne and switch weapons. Right now she has the Frost Caliber S-Rank Animatome, um, but she will switch weapons to, uh, it's an electric one with crit. This one boosts your defense, the other one has crit. Um, and since she leaves the gate, she'll no longer get the gate bonuses either. Um, alternatively, if you capture both of these palaces, which involves killing the bosses and then putting Yudin on them. It's not like it has to be Kuja, it can be anyone, it can be like, uh, like the three point C, it's like the three point C's map in, um, Finding Blade, right? If you get both of them, then you win as well. 20, 20 is 18, versus 12, 10, okay, she's fine. Okay, so we do this, we Great Arc here, knock him down low, then Lily can Iron Lance here, very good for her. This map has also like somewhat cut down on deployment slots since the last outing. Okay, can Vivek... Not quite kill with Thunder. Uh, Snurhande can probably kill with her magic bow, with her special thousand arrows. So we'll do that. But that's why a lot of people who were prominent in Chapter 13 and Chapter 11 are just sort of not here. I get that Horse Slayer too. 
Um, okay. We are going to... Give, take, one that has full uses, snag Killian up here, and then we'll heal Killian. Ooh, we actually can't. Um, well, we will heal Sturhandi. And with just those three rescue uses, we should be pretty close to A on Francis. Um, yep, she's almost halfway there. So pretty close is probably not an accurate statement. Um, but she's making her way towards the A rank. Uh, we are going to want to barrier up. Because Jezebel deals a ton of freaking damage with Frost Caliber, and also double Soma, we are going to want to potentially barrier him, because 14 res versus 30, 31 is 6, 7, 17 times 2 is 34, so he gets very close to one rounded. He does live. Um... I do want to barrier him, but I think healing him probably makes more sense. Physic B in this? It is, so unfortunately, Venus just shy of being able to physic him. I mean, he'll reach her next turn, because he does deal effective damage. The problem is... The problem is, if I want to player and enemy face, I need to heal him up in between, if I don't barrier. Even if I do barrier, I probably do. I think, okay, Francis has seven move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we move him here, then one, two, three, four, five, he still wouldn't be, he'd be shy. Maybe we leave it for one turn? So the other, so the staffers can catch up to him. The staffers have to catch up to my general. What is Fire Emblem? My mounted staffers are lagging behind my general, who is currently leading the charge in this LTC playthrough. This is not an LTC. Uh, don't get it twisted, this is not an LTC. Oh, look at that. Recover. I don't think there's any other droppables on this map. Uh, well, technically, the s rank Tome is droppable, but you get it in a cutscene. Uh, the way I, the reason I say it's droppable is the Tome she has equipped is the one you get. So if you kill her with Frost Caliber, she gets Frost Caliber. Or you get Frost Caliber. But if you kill her with the other one, the Lightning one, then that's the one that she gives you in the cutscene. So, pretty cool, I think. Okay, so we will... Heal you, or actually, we can have Francis Barrier, and then we can have uh, Venus heal Soma up to full, and then Soma can start marching forward. The reason I didn't want to send him forward is not just so the staffers can catch up, but also because um, the, the, the event, I didn't want to proc the event for getting too close to her, because if you get too close to her, reinforce like there's reinforcements, right? Um, there's also a anti-turtle set of reinforcements there. Okay, Strahandi can potentially distract these mages because I don't want them coming over here to mess with us, but I do also have to be careful with these Cavaliers over here. Uh, it's just a, a grand old mess. Can't even kill Vortex, cringe. Okay, we can potentially combine Vortex and Shrine, actually. So we'll Vortex you, 
to set up a kill for Mac Attack. Ooh, okay. Less than ideal. Less than ideal. Um, what does Drown do here? <sighs> Fucking awful. Maybe you want to use Drown for combat. Said no one ever. Um, seven. I mean, how does Mac Attack do? He's actually like, it's not like he's helpless in terms of like the amount of damage he takes. Okay. Um. If we have Mac Attack go here, shine on this guy, and we start everyone else moving up. We can heal you. Just because Venus, I don't want to die. Because <laughs> she's a mounted staffer. Um, you go up there. Do need to potentially worry about rescue dropping forward. Okay. Uh, if we can go... Okay, if we can put Strahandi, actually, okay. She can go up here, right? So she can rescue Rowan, go here. Lily can do that. Oh, she has a longbow equipped. I would like her to not. I'd like her to use her personal weapon. And that means you... Here, like that. And this should be good for us. Yeah, so they're moving towards those bridges. Mac Attack's gonna get attacked, but he can just... Kill. You can just kill with uh, lightning. And that's okay. That's okay for him. Look at Mac Attack go. He's just like, he's, despite being the slow bishop, he's like just fast enough not to get doubled by all these cavaliers. And that's so cool for him. That's like incredibly based and, and cool for him. Meanwhile, Sir Handi just using her personal silver bow to mow down some mages. Keep them in check. And I believe this is where those we Oh, right. Yeah, we can't actually get this kill. <laughs> we can't actually get this kill with Mac Attack unless we hit a, a Vortex with Kuja, which we might not. So anyway, there's them. Oh, you're stationary. That is a problem. So that would be 21 times 2 is 42. Ooh, wait, okay. Ooh, actually, hold on. We might be in a, a bad situation, actually. We might be in a bad situation. Hold on. Okay, 19... 19 plus 42, 1942, um, is 50, 63, but we can add, but we can use the Yama support. Oh god, and then there's this too. Okay, you just have to hit, right? Or rather crit, and you did, so that's good. And then dodge? Good job. Good girl. Very fucking good. Okay. And then we'll bolting the Necro Dragon and use the bread knife to kill it. Um, if we hit. Very good. Okay. And now with Uyama's support, bread knife should kill because it'll be. 
16, 24 times 2, 48? Yes. So we do this. We do need to get Killian out of there because he fucking dies to the boss. Oh! Wait, that was actually a very baller dodge. Um... Does he survive an attack from the boss? With 32 HP, 6 resistance, he's got an effective 38. She hits 31, and obviously she doesn't double because it's Killian we're talking about. Okay, 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 we're actually on to something here. So you can kill... Is this stone? That is stone. It's a 50-50 whether she gets petrified. Uh, we do potentially have Restore. Okay, Mac Attack. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Um... Lily can probably kill this Dark Mage, no problem, right? Yes. So we'll do that. Easy. Easy. Oh, wait. Killian might still be in danger because there's... Monsters... On the right of the castle, too, that I haven't scrolled to, aren't there? Uh, can't reach him, can't reach him. Okay. We're actually in the clear for that. Okay, can you dodge the stone? That would be very good. Okay, very good, very good, very good, very good. Okay. Okay, I think we're actually in quite a good situation. Um, because then Shale can help deal with the Cavaliers. Like, he can sort of plug this point. Longbow, 10. I do kind of want all of these calves dead. Oh, not what I want. Not what I want at all. Okay, um... Okay, so Soma... God, that hit rate is so awful. What even... It's 55 hit, no wonder. Um... Okay, if we have you... Okay, we can have Shale... Try doing this. Okay, very good. Then we can have Mac attack, kill with lightning. 71, please hit. Thank you. We are gonna physic Mac attack. We do also still need to block this choke point, which does Francis. She actually doesn't get fucking killed by this one. Does this guy reach there, though? He does. Okay, so... What if instead, Drowin... Reaver... Okay, so you... 20 attack... Versus 8, so that's 12. You don't double. So Venus can... We'll give... We'll give the... Oh my god, she can support Mac and Kuja. Um... Sure, we'll do Mac attack support. And then momentum up. Um... And she can take one hit from the Cav. Uh... And then if... Drowin goes here... He has two defense, 25. So that'll be 15, 14 because he's Reaver. 
Or 13, because he's Reavering. Yeah, he's actually fine here. Um... Francis can... I mean, Francis can judgment that guy, but also, is he really that much of a problem? If we, like, do this... It's not. Can't reach, can't reach. Alright, Soma... We don't have a hop on guard for him. And that 3% crit doesn't sit well with me. What if instead... Oh, it's the Devil Axe, too. Okay, what if instead... I mean, she's gonna go for killing him, right? It's with the wife ring, too. His hit rate is so bad. <laughs> um... So I'm gonna go here, so you can... Oh, wait, no! Now he is in range of her now. Oh, if I get 3% cut, I'm gonna, be... I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry so hard. Okay, so then Drowen will dodge tank this guy. Drowen combat! I said it was a meme. And yet, look at us now. And she's face tanking. Still, like, the amount of face tanking I'm doing with classes that are traditionally frail is... I find highly amusing. Okay, so he is fine. We are going to have to heal him up, but we can do that. We can top him up. We got plenty of staffers with actions available for that. Oh my god, the Mage Knight. Oh my god, the Valkyrie. So 8, 16, 24... Oh my god, these guys are actually a headache. Can we killer lance this Valkyrie? Oh my god, that hit rate. Okay, we can... If we crit here, that's baller. No. No crit. Okay. 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 That's okay, that's okay. Um... The down here situation is seeming pretty bad, not gonna lie. Um, at least we kind of have this bridge clogged. Okay, we can shine kill this one. Mac attack, no! You're the chosen one! Um, okay, these armor knights are stationary, the mage and sniper are not. Okay, we can kill this Shaman with this Iron Lance. Um... We're just- we're in damage control mode right now. We're in damage control mode. Because these monsters were a little bit more threatening than I perhaps expected them to be. Uh... Okay, the Mage Knight at the very least gonna get, like, clogged by these people, right? So... Oh my goodness. Okay, uh... Hmm. I mean, this is... rough. Okay. Got him dead, at least. Uh, I know that doesn't help us at all in terms of, like, long-term, but I need to think in the short-term right now. How does Skruhandi do... Okay, she can kill the Valkyrie. Killian... Honestly good? But can we do better?
Okay. Nope, nope, that's unfortunate. That is actually really unfortunate. Okay. Uh... Killian needs healing. And I think it's gonna have to be from Vivek. Uh, Soma can actually kill the Gorgon. Without facing a counter. That's good. That is actually really good. Um, we can heal Killian and park him in front of the boss to enemy phase her. Because with the Cyclops at low HP, we don't we don't have the actions though. Okay. Uh, you can reach that square. So. You all need to stay put. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. Uh, we do need to use a bread knife to kill this Cyclops, but I think it's absolutely worth it. Yes, we do this. Kill this Valkyrie. Uh, we leave a bow equipped on Shale. Yeah, we leave a bow equipped on Shale. Venus is gonna go up and vulnerary. So she's able to heal Killian. Next turn, if need be. Killian's going to kill the Cyclops with the bread knife. And we're just overall not in a great... We're not in a great situation, but we're not in a terrible situation either. I think Drowan and Shale need to stay put. Yeah, if we do this... I think we're good. Drowan's just gonna have to dodge tank for a little longer. Okay. Venus is fine here. She's even getting a little bit of experience. She's closer to 10. Okay, you moving is not ideal because it means the Mage Knight can reach, but the Valkyrie will probably staff this guy first? Maybe I shouldn't have shot... I didn't think it would knock him into heal AI, because the other guy's not heal AI. Uh, if the Valkyrie kills Drowan, I'm gonna be... sad. The tragic end of Radquets. Oh, uh, You don't double. You don't double. Yeah. Okay. We're still in trouble. We're still in a bit of trouble. Okay, moving down to kill that guy. Okay, okay, okay. So, at least part of my plan worked, which was to make it so this guy stayed low HP, so Mac Attack could kill him. So at least that half worked. The new question is, how are we dealing with this? All, all of it, all of it. Uh, Killian. God. Even his accuracy is only 69. Okay, he can get the wife ring, right? So Soma, give the wife ring to Killian. That's much better hit rate. Okay, we hit. Oh my god, okay. Uh, I am also realizing Killian does not currently have a hot bombard. Uyama... Okay, I think... This is bad. I think this is bad. Hot take, I think this is bad. Um... 
Okay, we can Physic... Killian. Um... But Killian does absolutely need to... get this kill, like, this upcoming turn. One, two, three... Okay, she should be too far to support. And here she does face... Longbow... She can get attacked by both of them. And, like, because of the silver bow, I'm not confident in the chances there. Shale, how do you do with the great arc? 25... Okay. So I think we have Shale... Great arc here, and then Kuja finishes off with Flux. Uh, if she hits, if she hits, if she hits, if she hits... Okay, she does hit. Based, 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 based. Okay. The, the one- the thing I got Uyama and Killian support for is just not going to happen. Okay, um... We'll take out this guy and then rescue Lily down with... Venus? In order to get a sniper range. Down to like here. Because even with yeah, okay, that's good. God, this is so bad. This is so unbelievably scuffed. Because how does Uyama even do against, like, the sniper? Eight more attack than currently displayed, so 27? And then 14 versus 6. 14 versus 6 is 8, 27 versus 8 is 19. She just barely, if I had, if I had pure water on her, or could barrier her. She could actually get in to killing in range. But she can't. I guess I could warp her. I could warp her. I have the might support on her mostly for this boss kill. actually so tragic. Okay, so we can do this. Oh, we can't actually. <laughs> we can't even take drop. That's okay. Uh, Drowin can also do this. And we can trust that if he dies, nothing of value will be lost. Goodbye! Ugh! No! Mom, I'll be joining you soon. Tragic. Okay, so Kuja, fine here. I was hoping the Lance guy would go for Drowin first, but... It is what it is. Alexa played Despacito. Oh my god, the Armor Knights move too? I thought they were stationary! This is actually so tragic. If she crits, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, 
she did not crit. Okay, we get our second crit. We get our second crit. So cool, so cool, so cool, and based. Okay. So many reinforcements, it's actually terrifying. Okay, Mac Attack, get this kill. Very good, very good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So Yama barely misses the support range. Uh, I don't think I can rescue drop her there either. Ooh. I can't actually rescue her there. I mean, if Killian doesn't get the kill this turn, he dies anyway, so we don't actually need to Physic. So we can rescue Uyama down here. And we're building Staff Rank. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is just so bad. This is just so bad. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't need to attack. Like, we just need Killian to land this hit, is all we need. Um, is there anything else that needs to be done? Yeah, Venus can staff a little bit. And then we can get out of here. Holy macaroni. Holy macaroni. Um, sorry that I didn't show off, like, too much of the map's impressive eventing. Uh, if you want to see it for itself, it's really cool. Okay, there we go. She is so dead. Uh, I like the the fact that it feels like really adaptive and like you're taking on an entire fucking entrenchment and there's different... Like, it's called Maelstrom of Stratagem and that's because there's so many strategies you take to it. Uh, so anyway, we kill her and get Frost Caliber for ourselves. Holy macaroni. Anyway, that was Maelstrom of Stratagems. Join us next time for Abyssal Messenger.